Hi, it's John. Now when I was working on the farm, we had a student come in at work for us and he was do, redoing his A-levels at night school and he said to me, why don't you come down and do some studying in, in, um, at night school? So I, uh, I, I went with him and I did physics, um, a physics O-level at the time, which is like a GCSE. And and that was all right, I think. And then the next year, <coughs> year soon goes by, doesn't it? <coughs> or anyway, a bit later on, I did um, sociology, and I really enjoyed that. I'd never thought of the concepts before about um, studying the groups in society, and I was really impressed by our teacher. He had long hair and and he was very modern and I was a farm boy and um, got to know him quite well and I asked him what he was what books had influenced him and he said um, presentation of self in everyday life by Irving Goffman and of course I had to uh, sort of read the little book and find out what it was that uh, had, 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 had uh, influenced him and the idea behind this presentation of self is that um, we have a front stage and a backstage self and what we normally display to the public is the front stage or the on stage self the self that you want other people to see but you also have a backstage self which is a bit nastier so it's 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 different from the uh, Freudian concept of, uh, of uh, id ego and super ego um, but but uh, so it runs you know you can think of it running parallel to any other concepts I mean in well, as I say this is more of a, a sociological term um, the uh, presentation of self it's more to do with sociology so it's a slightly different discipline but all the disciplines overlap um, a good example of this would be in a marriage or in a partnership where at the beginning you present um, the front stage self but uh, of course sooner or later the backstage self is going to come out and that's when the um, uh, that's when the partnership is tested um, I, I, I mean in religious life I mean sometimes they say about the integrated person where you get to see all the sides of, of a person and they all integrate and you've got no backstage and no front stage. I don't really believe that myself. I think we always have a backstage and a front stage and we need to integrate. Uh, well, we, and you've got the shadow, you've got the other, other another term, haven't you, the, um, the shadow side as well. Um, but uh, it's an interesting concept and, and I think we all do it and it, it's worth sort of um, a meditating upon oneself and working out which which side of oneself you are displaying in certain circumstances and uh, well the Greeks said know thyself didn't they and um, that's a very uh, important idea to know thyself and I think as you progress through life you do know yourself more and more and um, you have to love yourself basically and if, if you can't love yourself you can't love others can you bye for now